Alrighty, welcome back. Part two here from Old Marsh, starting off with the second shot on the tenth hole. We are starting with the second shot here because I played through a group and I didn't want to take a long time with the camera, so I apologize for that. But we're in the thick stuff here with the second shot, only about 125 yards away from the hole, and um, pulled the 48 degree and I should have clubbed up because I, it was thick stuff and I just kind of got snagged up in there, and we end up just short of the uh, green in the bunker. But um, bunker shots, I'm feeling really good about bunker shots lately for some reason. I don't know if it's the new wedges or not, but I'm just feeling I'm feeling really, really confident at bunkers. So tap that one in there for a bogey five, and we move on to the 11th hole, 335, par four. It is one of the easier holes in the golf course, but we pump one right down the middle of the fairway, leaving us in a good spot. I think I got like 135 yards here. Just trying to get close and we are just on the uh, fringe unfortunately we just missed the uh, just missed the birdie putt there but we will take a par there of course on the 11th hole and we head to the 12th hole it is a par 4 348 yards less than stellar drive there just kind of got underneath it and popped it straight up but nonetheless we're in the fairway chance to attack and I shank one Luckily for me, it catches the bunker that runs across, that runs um, parallel to the right side of the fairway. And um, if it didn't hit the bunker, it was definitely going in the water. So I appreciate the sand. And this is this is the worst hole of the day, really. Um, I think that this is just one that I got a little too frustrated on after that shank, and it just it just blew up from there. Not taking enough time on these putts. You can think, see it there. I should have. I paused a little before I set up on the ball. I should have taken more time with it. And unfortunately, we're walking away over there with a seven. Another triple bogey. So not what you want to see after a good hole. And I'll take that. I mean, it's whatever. I just kind of hit it low off the face, and it just ran out into the fairway. But can't see the green it's just on the right beyond those taller trees there right behind them and uh, I'm just trying to get near this red marker you see in the middle but hit it off to the left side and just the coming across it too much and just pulling it left and it ends up in the bunker just left of the green but still feeling confident and I go right at it barely missed the pin there which if it would have hit the pin it might have gone a million miles away from the green but it is what it is. We are at about 10 feet away from the green. Very nice pace control there, leaving me an easy putt for a six there, which is bogey on that hole. But we move on to the short par four, the 14th hole here. It's called Temptation. I'm aiming at the flag. It's only 250 away. And I just leave the face open, and it goes dead right. And this hole, this, I don't know if my brain thought you're in a bunker don't try to kill it, but these are the things that I got to improve on right here. These short little chips and these things from just off the green. So many shots today that I could have had back if I wouldn't have been so so bad with my shorter wedge shots. Shots like that from about 20 yards away. I just need to clip them good and just blade them too many times. And you can see there, frustration starting to set in. And unfortunately, we're walking away with our third and final seven of the day. But let's let's restart here. It is a par three, 150 over water. Just trying to get on the green here after a couple of bad holes. Shot tracer's a little off there. It landed just a little left of the um, of where the line is. But nonetheless, it's on the green. And we got a long way to go for par, but this hole, you can ride the slopes, and it will take you all the way to the flag if you're on the uh, the left side of the green. Got a nice. I just I was happy with that second shot there, the second putt. It left me in a spot where I could tap in for birdie, uh, for par. I mean, and not have too many putts on that hole. This hole is a 427 yard par five. If you can go over the um, the brush. You can shorten the hole a lot. I was trying to aim towards the left side of the fairway, but once again, the club face is just open, and it just goes right. Luckily for me, 
I was able to uh, carry that stuff. It's only like 200 yards to carry that. So this one for birdie, which I, if that would have win, if that would have win, I probably would have been not as mad about the last couple of holes. But nonetheless, it's another par back to back here on uh, 15 and 16, and we move to the par three. 17th hole 187 my range finder told me it was 150 I think it lied to me because I'm well short of that uh, of The range that I intended and um, I just take putter this stuff is short. It's running good. So let's just use putter and The result was great honestly it left me with about five feet and I'm realizing right now that this putt right here It's for 89 and I'm realizing that I am about to break 100 for the first time. That's why I'm so excited. I looked at my scorecard just before this hole. And I realized that if I could just string together a couple of nice holes, we would be breaking 100 for the first time. And honestly, you can see it right there on my face. I'm so relieved that my ball is safe and sound in the fairway. Feeling confident. And there's nothing like when you're feeling confident and you just don't hit one very well. You can see it on my face there. I'm so disappointed in myself. 200 to the flag, pull a hybrid and top it. Luckily for me, it gets snagged up in the rough, hit some sticks, and just short of the water. Oh. This one from literally like 140. Oh my god! It's, if it would have went straight, it would have carried it, but it flails right and it's in the water. Luckily for me, like I said, we were at 89 on the last hole, so I've still got a ton of a ton of shots to play with here, and I used all of them. <laughs> But that was the ball position when I got up there. I took the uh, penalty shot and just tried to finish the round and not blow up and choke this away. i am got a couple of shots here with the putter. And I hate to end on a three putt, but that's exactly what I did. But with this putt right here, we are tapping in for 98 and a sub 100 round for the first time on this YouTube channel. I am a little upset that I probably could have had like a 95 or a 96 if that ball went gone in the water, if I would have made some better connections on the second and third shot on the 18th hole. Put a couple of sevens as a fives and that's close to 90 on this course, which is my best score I've ever had on this course and the first time I've broken 100. So Quest for 95 starts right now. I hope you guys will subscribe and consider sticking around with me for that journey. I'll see you next time.